I am responding directly to the assertion made by the former Prime Minister, twice Prime Minister, and the myth that they are perpetuating that in fact it was George Price who got our independence. It wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. The people of Belize rejected the proposals which he brought in March of 1981, which was being negotiated by himself, Harry Courtney now deceased, as said Schumann, and we got our independence completely unfettered. No strings attached. Now, Mr. Mr. Speaker, it is important that the Belizean people understand and know that in 1957-58, when Price went to the United Kingdom to try to get monies for Belize, he had a secret meeting with the Guatemalan Foreign Minister, a man named Granados. And the proposal was that the Guatemalans would give us money and he would cause Belize to enter into some associates with, 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 with Belize. Point of order, point of order, Mr. Speaker. This is yes, member. This, well, one second, Minister. The, the member for Pickstock, we know he lives in an artificial world, but he is trying to rewrite history. And it is an absolute disgrace. It is an absolute disgrace for the Minister of Foreign Affairs of this country to get up in the National Assembly of Belize and try to diminish the legacy of the greatest patriot to ever serve this country, George Price. You should be ashamed of yourself trying to rewrite history. Member, and it has absolutely member, nothing to do with the budget. Member, member.